Hi guys, today I thought it would be a good day to do a quick little video on how to make the Chris knife, a one day build as they call it. I recently saw the movie Dune part 2 in the movies and you should too because it's a really great movie. I'm not gonna go into the movie itself, just go watch it. In the movies you see them use the Chris knife and it's a small little blade and I think it's small enough to just make it in one day. That means... If you want to have this knife by tomorrow, maybe there's a convention and I know how cosplayers are, you might still be able to. We also have two more videos on this channel on how to make the still suit, made by another familiar face, Mistfane. So go check that out, it comes with patterns. Enough talking, let's get crafting. First off, I just freehand the shape of the knife to make a pattern out of. It's pretty straightforward, no bells and whistles. Then I transfer this pattern to 7mm UHD foam and cut it out 3 times to glue this together with contact glue. Next up I made some markings to know where to sand later on. And there we go. Now normally you would add a rod inside, but this is UHD foam or ultra high density foam, which means it's very sturdy and I wanted to put that to the test. So these are just three layers of UHD foam with no core inside and it's still pretty sturdy. You can still bend it a bit, but we're just not gonna do that. Of course, you can also make this out of high density or low density foam, but then you will need a rod inside or it's just gonna be a whip. Now before I use my Dremel, I use a knife to cut off most of the excess just to save some time. Now we can start sanding and make this thing as clean as possible. The knife is pretty organic but still has a sharp edge, as knives, you know, do. So we still have to work clean. Once I look like I've been swimming in Arrakis, I know I'm done. By the way, here's something I straight up stole from SKS Props. You can add some super glue to the foam tip to make it more sturdy, as foam points often tend to be flimsy. So you know, it's just a good tip. Moving on to some details, the knife has some carvings in there, so I first mark where the handle will go and then draw some lines. Then I use a sharp knife to cut those lines and heat those up with a heat gun. The heat will make those lines open up and pop way more. Other than that, the knife has a lot of straight carvings in there. Since those are a bit wider, I add those using a wood burner. If you don't have a wood burner, a Dremel would work just as well. And then finally, I glued on some 2mm UHD foam with super glue. This handle part has some runes in there. I don't know what it says, I don't speak the language, but I'm just gonna add those with a wood burner again and just eyeball it. It's just some gibberish, but it does a job. I almost forgot, but I also added a hammered metal texture using a Dremel with one of those polish bits. Alright, and then we end up with this. That's the whole foam build. So pretty straightforward. I made the whole thing in like 3 hours and now we can move on to painting. But first we have to prime. I first primed the whole thing with two layers of black cos paint. This is a primer and paint in one, works perfectly for this. The blade itself I covered with three layers of ivory gold and the handle I covered with some antique silver and regular brown cos paint. Before I can move on to shading, highlights and doing some gradients, I cover the whole blade with satin Lucas spray, as we are now done with the metallics. The first thing I want to do is give the blade a black wash. That just means I mix some black paint with a lot of water and cover it and then remove it again. With this technique we make the engravings pop way more but it also just doesn't look like a toy anymore. Next up I use a sponge with some very dark brown colors and even black to just dry brush a gradient and just make it dirty. Finally I did some more shading with black cos paint and some highlights with some pearly whites. And that covers the whole blade. Now I made this in like 5 or 6 hours, but you have to keep in mind I'm making a video of this so I have to move around my camera and all that, so you could probably do this in less time. Now I'm pretty happy with it, but not gonna lie, if I had some more time it might have looked a bit more refined. But you know, it's a one day build, that's the name of the game. Anyway, that's it for me, this was a fun little one day build. Go watch Dune, the movie is amazing. I'm Skyshark and I will see you in the next one.